What's up, C Squad? It's Nigel C. And Daddy C. Of that is son. Kick Talk. Today we're kick talking about. About the Nike SB Dunk Low Fly Street Wear Gardenia Pair. It's like Fly Street Wear Gardenia Pair. Yeah, I didn't really need to say ah, pair. Let's drop that out. Fly Street Wear Gardenia Pair. Before we get into the shoe, Nigel, what should yeah. I do for the first time here? Y'all need to ring that bell, because it's going to get you well. Ring the bell. We appreciate the support. <laughs> yeah. It's your first time here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If you've been rocking with us before and you came back, thanks so much for that. We appreciate the love and support yeah. and vibing with our content. All right, now that that's out of the way, again, Nike SB, Dunk Low, Fly Streetwear. Mm -hmm. A lot of dope inspiration materials on this shoe. Gardenia pair. Gardenia. Yes, yeah, the the, play, the the colorway is Gardenia. Mm. And we're gonna get into all of that. This shoe is dope, man. For me, you know, it was a nice cop on the sneakers app. It was a draw. Limited pairs. It was about forty thousand that dropped. So not a lot, like I said. Also hit on another pair for a homie as an assist from Premier, and never hit on Premier at all before. So that was you know a double dub. So. Let's get into it. What's up, all right. All right, man, let's get this shoe out the box. Bam. Mm. You can see the SB Dunk huh. Fly Street wear in that Gardenia colorway. This is a pretty shoe. Pretty, right? Uh-huh. Agreed, agreed. So I love Nike SB, man, and what they do. We talked recently about collabs and Nike overdoing collabs. I will say Nike SB does a great job with their collabs. They do. When they bring somebody in, mm -hmm. streetwear brand, or is inspired by whatever story, they do it up big and the, the colors and all kinds of detail on the shoe. Uh -huh. And this is no exception. So let's dig into it, man. Like what's the story behind this, this shoe? You see it's different, right? The way the swoosh is on the side of that shoe. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the shoe overall is a lot of suede, a lot of, you know, some new buck kind of on the side here in this gray fog color. Right. And there's some tubble leather on the toe box, that upper toe part. This shoe is inspired by Fly Street Wear as a boutique out of Shanghai, China. Wow. Yeah, so they, you know, they collab with Shanghai. Shanghai, that's right. Oh. Fly Street Wear. And mm -hmm. In China, so this is really like inspired by the Chinese culture and it's older, like elderly people that sell these gardenia flowers on the streets. Mm. So you see this little emblem on the back of the shoe. Yeah. They actually take these flowers, it's like an orchid, and they put them together, they tie them together with a piece of metal that's inspired by this little metal tag here. Oh! And they sell those to people on the street. It's been doing, they've been doing it for like for hundreds of years and people would take it and put it on their clothes. So, now they cooks, cause hold on, that's actually tough. Yeah. Nah, cause they cook with that. That's a so, dope idea. The, what's it called, you said the? The gardenia? The gardenia. Or the orchid flower, right. The gardenia orchid flower. If you look at that symbol on the side. Yeah. You see how the gardenia has that like, like line pattern on it. Yep. And how it's like, the two gardenias are connected and exactly. like tied together with like that green piece. Yep. They have the green piece Right? Yeah. It is literally like, and it's like the metal piece too. Right. They put the metal, bro. I'm gonna show y'all so y'all get a visual of what I'm talking about. <laughs> listen, listen, bro. Gardenia one, other gardenia. Boom. Literally tied together with the green piece That's and it. the metal piece. And they did it with the swooshes, bro. Yeah, to do that on a swoosh, like they changed it up. They cooked. You got this, you know, like kind of extra petal situation, like a petals of a flower uh -huh. on the on the swoosh itself. It's tough. It's just dope, man, to and, me. And people be putting gardenias on their clothes. Yeah, so, so people they saying they put would the swoosh on your clothes because that's what the swoosh is, the gardenias. Now you right now you run around and you are kind of doing that same thing. And it said like they were doing this. People did this in China mm -hmm. because of like the class system and mm -hmm. perfume was so far out of reach for the average person, right? Dollar-wise, mm -hmm. because people were poor. So people would sell these flowers on the street because they're fragrant, right? Smells like gardenia. Mm. Look up gardenia, it's a fragrant smell. It's a you know very nice smelling flower. Mm -hmm. And people would use the flower pinned to their clothes to smell nice and fresh. It was like mm. a cologne perfume type thing. I think I heard of that before. Yeah. yeah? 
Yeah, I've never heard people. that. <laughs> you haven't heard? <laughs> I have. Because, like, I remember hearing, cool. like, about how they'll put the flowers on, like, smell better. Yeah. That's I mean, you tough. know, when you go to, like, prom and stuff, or and you get your little your little boutonniere and your little, you know, your corsage, and it smells real nice, right? Mm. So imagine doing that, like, during, you know, in a cultural thing, right? That that's how people would do it. And they say, and the gardenia makes you smell right when you put it on your clothes. Mm -hmm. The swoosh go make go get you right once you put it on your clothes. That's <laughs> basically like they they gassing up Mikey with this, and it's like it's tough because they cooked. Yeah, they did. They cooked. Mm -hmm. All right, so the shoe, the blue in this suede also represents the they, the baskets that the people would carry these orchids in, like mm. the people that are selling them. They always had like a nice blue material on the bottom of the basket to make mm. the flowers stand out. So you get that same color blue, you know, floating in there and they'd have the gardenias. And then also the green that's on the heel tab represents supposedly the stalks of the flowers. The green stalk oh. of, the, of the flower oh. itself. You know, it's a tie-in. I mean, from a color perspective, I love it because, you know, you get the gray. Now that's what I was thinking. And blue, and then this just little hint, little pop of green. Right, like they you know the color so well, but yeah. it's like they also like stuck to the whole cultural story of it. Right. And it's fire. Yeah. And this is like the color, the swoosh, mm -hmm. the midsole, you know, it's got that orchid color, right? Like that's the same mm -hmm. color of the flower. So I, I mean, I really like that. And then we got rope laces yeah. in here. And again, that nice, it's a very tumble leather on the, the forefoot of the shoe. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a nice, the whole tongue is leather, which is cool. It's, a lot of times yeah. we'll get like nylon, mm -hmm. but we get a leather tongue on this one. And then let's see under. Oh, and on the tongue. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. The, the, the two tongue is different. So I've got a Nike SB on this side, mm. and yours is the. And I got the fly, so fly slash the fly streetwear. Oh, fly streetwear. Yeah, yeah, that's their logo, right? So I got the fly streetwear logo on yeah. that tongue. Yeah. Tongue. So they, you know, I think overall, man, it's just a, a really dope pair. It is. And then let's see, they also did some more, just more detailing, mm -hmm. paying homage to again the Chinese culture. To get the tongue out, I mean the insole out. <laughs> so you got some Asian writing on here, some Chinese. I wasn't able to get that translated yet. <laughs> I, I feel like, I think I've heard where this says Happy New Year, but I, I don't know how New Year flows into yeah, the story. Know. So if anybody knows, hit me in the comments, let me know what this translates to. And you got the, the flowers on there as well, on that insole. Of course you got your, your Zoom pouch in the back, which is your typical Nike SB. I wonder if this says Nike SB in the Chinese. Mm. <laughs> because it doesn't say Nike SB anywhere else. Yeah. One of you guys, let us know, thank you. Let us know, let us know. Oh, and we've got green tips on the laces oh. too, which is cool, you know, so that's pretty dope. We got the green tips. The green tips to match up with the, the heel. Yeah. You know, pretty dope. And these laces are like in that sail colorway too, not white, so that's all blends in and matches, you know, with the swoosh, mm -hmm. that midsole. Just an overall clean shoe, man. I, I uh, really yeah. dig it. Well done, this is really well done, to be honest. Pretty dope. Where do y'all rank these? How do you, would you give it? And I love the little, the little metal knot on the back, like we said, for that, for that mm -hmm. piece that connects the flowers on those and Not traditional. Yet. They really did the whole story in this shoe, but it looks tough as well. Yeah. Like, this is just, like, this is just well done overall. I agree, man. So I that, agree. Yeah. with that being said, what is your rating on this shoe? My rating on this one? One out of 10 stars. I mean, you can't, I, I don't really have any reason to knock it anywhere. Mm -hmm. I am curious of how the swoosh, like this, the petals kind of material, how that'll wear yeah, with time. time. So yeah. I think, but it's still very creative. And you know, I can't, we talk about creativity all the time. Mm -hmm. Nike knocked this one out the park, man. Nike has to be yeah. fly street wear. I gotta give this a 10, man. I mean, wow. Dude, it's, it's blue. I love blue. Nah, yeah. It's gray. I mean, I mean I'm gonna say 10 too. Okay. But like, that's yeah. crazy though, but just yeah. Just tossing a 10 out there like that, like casually. It's like, I'm gonna just give it a 10. Like, I'm like, wow. I mean, maybe 9.5, but it's really, I don't have any round. knocks on it. I mean, rounding though. Yeah. Like, it's 10 still. Exactly. I don't have any knocks on this shoe. No. I mean, look at that. You like it too. We're on the same page. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty straightforward, man. Let me know what y'all think about it. Did you cop this shoe? I know they dropped some merch too. They had a whole like fleece jacket kind of thing that I'm kind of mad I wasn't able to get to go with it. It was in the same blue with some Chinese writing on the sleeve. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, look back, and that might be like a reach back situation later this year, you know? Mm -hmm. Plus, I got birthday coming up. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Mm. Mommy C, look out for your boy. It's um, my birthday soon. Whoa, my birthday. <laughs> But we'll see how that how it fares. Mm -hmm. Again, how y'all rank these? Did you cop? Hit me in the comments. Let us know. Hit me on Instagram too at Real Daddy C. And we will see y'all on the next one. Peace.